G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so war story time, but there is a serious meaning to this war story time. So this goes back to, you know, probably 12 months after I got out of prison from doing my big one. So I'm talking maybe 2020, four years ago. And so one of my friends, actually my tattooist, was having like a fight with somebody and this somebody had threatened to, um, you know, do bad things to his daughter that was about seven at the time. Now, me being who I was, um, sent this guy a message on a Facebook account that is, you know, and that wasn't mine and said, you know, you're going to regret saying that, mate. You know, I've made light of this before. You know, there's an old adage that sticks and stones will break my bones and words will never hurt me. That's not true. Words will get you killed and many people have died just because of words. So don't ever get that twisted in that world. And so anyway, let's fast forward a month. We're, we're fast forward a month. I am at the bank and I had my colours on. And so anyway, next thing you know, Echo Task Force rocks up and arrests me. And I was actually taking my like 57-year-old friend to the bank because they needed a lift, right? And so I get arrested and they said, you are under arrest for attempted murder, um, possession of a firearm, use firearm in a public place, all this bullshit, right? And I'm like, what the hell? And then, so anyway, I'm going to put, I'll put the allegations to you. So the allegation is this. The allegation is that I got two of my friends to drop me off at that location. Um, and then the also allegation is that they um, they alleged that those two people um, um, like coached this person out of his house. And so, and they also alleged that at this time I was waiting in the dark at the back of his house at the gate and these people were standing at the gate getting him to come to the gate. And then they, they, they alleged that, that, that I ran up from behind, kicked kick, kick this guy in the back of the legs, in the back of the knees, so he fell to his knees and then um, continued to put him in. And, and it's alleged that I continued to put this person in the execution position with a firearm, um, a pistol, they are alleging, um, to the back of this person's head and said, you know, say goodnight, sayonara, um, you know, you don't threaten to, to do sexual things and, and kill young girls, you know. That's the allegation. And then also the allegation is that the person who did this pulled the trigger, but the gun backfired and fizzed in this person's hand, which gave the victim enough time to run away and, and, and get away um, whilst he is, the victim is alleging that, that I, he's saying that it was me, is trying to load this gun and reload this gun and get it to work you know now i when i was arrested at the bank you know what i mean um i was initially charged with attempted murder um you know use of a firearm in a public place because you know he's alleging that the gun did go off but it backfired um and you know possession of a firearm, be a prohibited person, possess a firearm, um, be a be on a firearms prohibition order, possess firearm and do firearms offences. So with my with my priors and and what I've been to prison for, which is only I'm an SVO, which is called a serious violent offender here in Victoria. And um, so, you know, I only get big sentences from now on ever since I got that title. So those that set of charges right there would definitely get me like maybe 12, 14 years just because of 
I got nine years for my last one, and they're not going to give me one one moment less than that time. So, um, you know, I got locked up for that. I got bail, and and I was out on bail. So we were going through court. I was obviously taking this to trial because, you know, I'm stating even to this day that that, that, that was not me that done that. And um, so we were taking it to trial. And then all of a sudden, um, my barrister rings me up and he said, the, the prosecution and the police have told me they've just received a silver bullet. They have the gun that they are alleging that you used to try and shoot this person. And which was quite funny. I was like, oh, really? Um, okay produce this firearm so anyway they 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 put this firearm into forensics or whatnot you know to see if 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 not it's been used or whatnot and the absolute truth of the matter is this absolute moron has got a replica firearm of somebody and thinking that it was real, like this person absolutely thought that this replica firearm was real, he's then handed that into the police, thinking that it's going to help his case, and my and and really like sink me on my attempted murder case. And um, you know, the truth is, um, you know, that was a replica, and and that that right there, that right there put the nail in the coffin that wasn't a silver bullet that put a nail in the coffin and literally when my when my case got to committal mention because i was taking it to trial in the county court when 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 my case got to committal mention and all the evidence got put forward my barrister ate them alive and said you are absolutely fucking kidding me you are trying to tell me that you were going to use that as evidence when that gun cannot be or has not ever been used. It is a replica firearm. It is basically a metal, a metal cap gun, but it can't even shoot caps. It doesn't even do nothing except for it's a movie prop. It was a movie prop. That's what it was. And so um, all charges dropped. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that, that, that right there, which they thought was the silver bullet that was going to be the nail in my coffin, ended up being a bullet that smelt like poo and and put the nail in their coffin. But the whole point of my story is if that hadn't have happened, regardless of what, you could never tell the police or the prosecution that I didn't do that. So I was going to go down for that and I was definitely going to be doing bulk years because I am not, a dog and I don't speak, you know? So my whole point of this is when you get to a certain point in that criminal realm, the police will do absolutely anything to make sure that you are in prison. Now I have my mum here right now and we're going to be doing a live video tonight. Now she will be able to tell you what the police have told her during my life saying that their career will not be over until they have put me and my brother in prison for life or we are dead. So we were quite literally public enemy number one and without like sounding spruiking, I was definitely public enemy number one. My brother would have been public enemy number two, you know, um, and that's the way they saw it. Um, and, and it wasn't always that way. My brother was public enemy number one and then, you know, I grew up and, and and I guess I guess I wanted to prove to everyone because I was always younger and I'm so much younger than my brother and I just wanted to prove to everyone that I was crazy. And this is the thing. This is what I wanted in my life. I wanted nothing than for you and the general public to think that I was the craziest person and and I would do everything in my power to make sure that you guys know that. Like you know, letting off shots in public, um, you know, being that person who's always known to be to be carrying and like I did get to that point where, you know, everybody fears me. And that's that's 
that's what I wanted. And it wasn't until one day where one of my girlfriends at the time to me said, I was having an argument with her and I said, you were nobody before I met you. I said, all your friends are my friends, blah, blah, blah. And she said to me, not one of them are your friends. I said, what are you talking about? She said, every single one of those people only respect you because they're scared of you. They are not your real friends. And that was a real eye opener to me, you know. And so take note of that yourself. You know, you get to a certain point and especially when you're taking drugs and you don't really give a shit, you really want people to think that you are the craziest person. And I, I, I get it because it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world and, you know, no pun intended, but like that's exactly what it is. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do to survive in this day and age. But make no mistake about it, when you get to that point in your life, that these cops are going to do nothing but make your life hell. I promise you, they made my life absolute hell. But don't worry, on that same token, I did my utmost best to make their life absolute hell, you know. Um, it's also alleged that I have snuck into the police station and undone every single nut on the police cars that were parked in the police station and you know i was absolutely public enemy number one to them i was at war with them and they were at war with me and i guess you know this brings me to the end of my video where i always say my piece but i really need you guys to hate take heed of what i i'm saying here so regardless whether i was guilty or i was innocent that day I was going to be doing well over 10 years jail had this flipping moron not handed in a gun that never even worked in its life. Like that really ruined the case. So I need you guys to take heed of that, that the police, although they are the police, I can tell you right now that the police can say anything in court without producing evidence until that court until that your court case gets to county court that's when they have to start producing real evidence you know so just take heed of that guys sometimes it's not even worth the reputation that you've got to do the jail time that you're going to do like yeah you're going to get out of jail you, the, your mates are going to fear you because you're the only one who's been to prison this and that and and, and it is quite a you know it's a feeling that i quite enjoyed you know what i mean but i promise you that it's only only ever going to end up in t turmoil and look at me i've been stabbed seven times i've been shot and i'm lucky to be alive and i'm lucky to be here right now to tell you that that was not the way to live your life so please especially my youngins that are out there and respect me and 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 know that i was a real one and i'm telling you how it is guys and this is exactly how your life will end if you continue doing what you are doing and not only that you're going to have your family i've got my mum here like i said they are the people that do the jail time they are the people that are worried when you are on australia's most wanted and the police ring your mum and say if he doesn't hand himself in we're going to shoot him he's listed as arms armed and dangerous they are the ones that go through the pain and the turmoil not us I just go to jail and get off my face every single day and forget that I'm in jail. And that's the truth. And 90% of the people in there do that. So I'm practically having fun while your family is going through hell. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. And, um, like, yeah, or uh, also saying that uh, you do have fun in jail, but when you are having fun, it is still a very dangerous fucking place. You know, like I I've made light of this on many, many videos. So please, please take heed of this and, um, yeah, really take note of my, of what I'm saying right now. Cause I really, really say it from the heart and, um, you know, on the news these days, it really, really breaks my heart seeing all these young fellas getting stabbed or sent to prison and it's just not worth it there there are there's 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 ways out guys there are ways out believe me and um yeah so all right guys there you go that's kind of a war story with a bit of a twist on it um i have been the chaos chronicles you have been absolutely awesome we are out but first if you haven't subscribed to my video could you jump up there and subscribe to my channel not my video smash that bell if you hit that bell it will give you a notification on your phone or your device saying hey biff's live come and watch him right now or biff just dropped a video and also i have memberships available now um which help me make this page grow um you know 
which, you know, helping me, I bought my GoPro. Um, we are going to do some filming tomorrow with the GoPro. We're going to do it today, but I slept in. Um, but anyhow, yeah, Chaos Chronicles, we out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.